Alright, I think we're on. And also, I think I can barely see myself up in my little trash camera here on my new laptop here. Um, but anyway, my name is Big Boy Variety, and welcome back to my channel. Um, debuting a new series today on this glorious Sunday afternoon. Um, out here right now, it's a little, it's a very nice outside, and I'm trying to get as bright as possible up in here, but obviously you can barely see my face. I can barely see my own face. That's okay. That's just the way the picky is going to crumple here today. Um, so this is a brand new series that I'm debuting here on the channel. I'm calling it, um, I don't know, we're, I don't know, whatever the title is, what the title is, but we're talking about college basketball today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah. So, up to this point, um, rarely watched, um, games, I've watched a very few games, um, and it's been, it's been unfortunate in that regard, um, mostly because it, football season up first, and I like to analyze that a little bit more um, than your average basketball season. You know, um, basketball is a little bit too long. You know, there's so many games to analyze. There's just so many storylines to get over the hump. And right now, as the landscape changes, as we head closer to March Madness, I figure. Hey, let's do this series, let's do this, um, to maybe get somebody who's not aware up to speed on the road to March Madness. Now, um, to start, there are no undefeated teams left. Virginia and Michigan were the last to the fall. Michigan lost to Wisconsin, and Duke beat Virginia. Man, that Duke-Virginia game, I watched that one, that was really the first game in a while that I watched and it was a great game. Um, both teams were just um, Virginia was trying to, you know, just keep themselves trying to keep up with Duke. Um, they really couldn't stop Duke from doing what they will and I will say that um, Duke didn't miss a guy I believe his name was Trey Jones. Um, yeah, he was he was missed during that game and I'm pretty sure he's back by now. But you know, it's the same same old um, when it comes to just one player being hyped up over everybody else. And this year, the guy is Zion Williamson. I mean, he is a good basketball player. Um, sometimes he, based on stuff that I've seen, he he occasionally has little bits and pieces there where he doesn't defend the ball very well on the other side of the spectrum. And, you know, you gotta, you know, if you wanna be the number one draft pick, you know, you just gotta, you gotta play like the best. Um, luckily, this year, you know, the number one draft pick is just like, okay, he's on a team that's actually doing something. I believe he was either last year or a couple of years ago when, the, when people were talking about Washington's Markel Fultz, and he really didn't do anything. The Washington did team make the tournament. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, Duke is really good. They gotta hit more foul shots, free throw line, uh, really to stay afloat. And I know they've lost a couple of times, but I mean, really, um, but really, this is one of the best teams in the country. When they have all their guys on the floor, um, it is one of those things. Just. It, it's a thing of beauty for some to watch, and it's a thing of disgust for others to watch at the exact same time when you're talking about Duke basketball. You know, anybody outside of Duke hates Duke, and I do too. So, you know, there's that. Um, Virginia still doing good. They beat both Notre Dame yesterday, and it wasn't even close. It was just, it was just an absolute defensive destruction. Um, I think they beat them like with 20 points or so. Uh, Virginia is really good. 
I know people are still going to talk about that um that UNBC lost, and I mean really they shouldn't, um, as far as this year goes. But well, but I mean that is the greatest upset of all time, and you can't change anybody's minds about that in college basketball. Um, that is the greatest upset of all time in in this sport. Um, yeah, the Navy is really trying to put that behind them. And, and the way that they play, you know, really good defensive ball. Um, they don't score a lot. They like to keep them, like to keep um, very few possessions on the court for their for themselves and the other team. They just they just do really really well on defense, and their offense does just enough to get them by. You know. The offense does what they need to do to get by, um, and that's really all I have to say on Virginia. Now on to, um, let me go on here, uh, Tennessee. Rick Barnes' is Tennessee team is really good. Um, and I'll talk about the SEC Big 12 Challenge in a minute and why that's stupid. Um, yeah. Tennessee is really good. I don't really know any players with Tennessee, so again, I really haven't kept up with college basketball all season long, but that that's where you come in. You know, you tell me something about Tennessee, um, but yeah, they, that, that's a really good team, too. Michigan also is a really good team. I know they just lost like a week or two, like a week ago, their first loss a week ago to Wisconsin. And, I mean, both of those both of those teams are really good. Um, I just got finished watching the Michigan State Purdue game, and this is the second time this year that I've watched a Michigan State game. First one was back in December against Florida, and really, um, the top two guys. Um, what were their names again? Oh God. Um, I'll do it. I'll figure it out later. I'll remember later, but Michigan State really struggled. They didn't even lead during the Purdue game at all. And, you know, it, it's times like this where you think, hmm, is Michigan State really a top team? And I think so. But, you know, losses happen, and this is just not a good one. There was some very questionable ref ball, uh, as usual, um, during the last couple minutes of the game. And there were some very questionable decisions by Coach Izzo as well, um, to the point where I was just sitting there like, what, what are what are they doing? Are they really fouling with like three minutes left to go in the game? Man, that's crazy. And yeah, um, yeah. Michigan State's a little top team. Gonzaga's a little top team out west. I don't really know about the pouch about the pouch well at this point. Um, something, some somebody's gonna have to. Emerge and right now, as a guest sale of the standings, yes, they is going to be watched. And as of right now, I don't really know. Um, Pac 12 really just happens. Oh, wow, my battery's running low. Oh, God. Um, hold on a minute. And, uh, really hasn't had um, the best non-conference slate and I believe they're going to beat up on each other during Pac-12 play as well. Um, you know, they, I think could be one bid from the conference, could be more than one bid, it really depends, but that conference is just not that good right now and nobody's really talking about them, that's why I'm not even, I'm not even really going to talk about any teams right now. Just Conference is not really there. Um, we were all excited for Bobo, um, that huge guy from Oregon, but he was just like, okay, I'm going to declare from the draft. He got injured beforehand, though. Uh, he declared from the draft and everything, even though he really isn't, you know, he really hasn't shown me much. He's just a, another Yao Ming, a really big guy. 
uh, to me that's how much Pac-12 basketball I see. <laughs> um, well, how about it? The SEC Big 12 Challenge. Uh, the SEC is one of the weaker conferences. I still contend in, in college basketball as, as far as the power conference is concerned. Uh, they're easily one of the weakest basketball conferences I've ever seen. But, you know, Kentucky's still going strong. Tennessee, as I mentioned, really good. Um, that ACC Big 12 Challenge yesterday was just a absolute dumpster fire if you are a Longhorn fan. And if you're a Longhorn fan like me, uh, you would be really disappointed in the Longhorns yesterday. Just uh, a mediocre Georgia team. And uh, I say this because, um, you know, the SEC Big 12 Challenge got renewed for another six years. Um, man. You know, we could be, you know, doing something else during the middle of the of non of conference play. Um, really, could be doing another type of challenge with another conference. I'd rather go with the Big East um, during this time. I really think we, we 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 do well. We do well. I think we do well with the Big East. Um, the SEC is just not clicking it for me. You know, it's not. It's not the type of thing that I really want to see anymore. Because obviously there's two issues: glaring issues, Kansas and Missouri, and there's us, Longhorns against the Aggies, and I said we don't want to deal with that negativity, and ESPN doesn't want to deal with it either. So I'd rather us just go on ahead, you know, I'd rather just go on ahead and sign up with, do a challenge in the middle of knock conference play against another conference like. The Big East or something, you know, some, you know, a conference on equal footing as us, the Big Twelve, and you know, Big Twelve won the SEC, won the Big Twelve SEC Challenge yesterday. Um, it was really favored towards the home teams yesterday. Um, I don't know anything about really about the other games, but Tennessee did beat West Virginia, and West Virginia is the worst team in the Big Twelve right now. Uh, Georgia. It's one of the worst in the SEC right now. They beat us. And it was really just a hard, hard thing to swallow. Kentucky also beat Kansas yesterday. Um, it's really a hard thing to swallow when you're, when you're a uh, Texas fan and you really care about the basketball team and you really want um, the team to get better. And Shaka Smart has really not done his thing to make this team better. I thought this would be the guy, you know, to topple Kansas in during the regular season, but no, nothing has happened. Uh, we've been struggling a lot, and, you know, it, I, I highly doubt that somebody else is going to, you know, usurp us from our spot. I mean, we still have some good wins on our resume, you know, the Longhorns do. Um, Kansas, obviously, is going to make the tournament anyway. They're probably going to win the Big 12 uh, regular season title again, but... Yeah, there's, there's just going to be some power teams that don't really deserve what they've done, what they need to do, um, and it's probably going to show that later on, uh, as we get closer and closer to March Madness, that some teams just don't deserve to be in, and from these power conferences, Big East right now is a, it, it's something, it's very interesting, Villanova was kind of just downplayed during, um, like after they got blown out by Michigan and really turned the tide, it's really just Villanova and the resurging Marquette right now. St. John's, we knew it was a, uh, a pretender. They just got beat by Georgetown earlier. A nasty dunk to end it, though. <laughs> that was pretty hilarious to find out that a dunk by Georgetown ended the game. You know. But, um. Whew. Excuse me. Um, yeah, Georgetown, St. John, um, Marquette, which is surging really well. Their top guy, oh man, I forgot his name. You know, he keeps, you know, the Zion Williamson love just, um, just stays there, just stays where, where it needs to be on ESPN. But, uh, I'll find it later. 
just how unorganized I am without that song. I'm so sorry. Uh, but we're going to keep on trucking with the series anyway each week. Uh, yeah, the Virginia Duke game last week was a great, great game. Uh, only watched the Texas game there in the Big 12 SEC Challenge. Um, then I went to the um, UNZ game. So, um, that was really interesting. Really interesting day. Um, now, um, there'll be a lot of interesting scenarios as we get closer. You know, there's a, several big majors, you know, really kind of just trucking along, doing their thing. Buffalo's won. Uh, Buffalo's a really good team. They really only have, like, a bad, a kind of bad loss to another MAC team, and then they got blown out by somebody else. Um, Murray State's also a good one. Um, where is the what conference are they in again? I forget. Murray State is a good team. Most of the Big 12 is good, uh, so, you know, that's really something. As far as conference you want to think of, um, I'm going to say this. I don't really understand the whole um, little scheduling thing that happened. Uh, that's going on right now, but you know, it, it, if it works out, great. If it doesn't, right now, it really doesn't look like it's working out. Um, we're talking about mid majors now. As far as that goes, that whole thing is not really working out that well right now. It's just a lot of bad. Um, as far as Conference USA goes, it's a lot of bad. You would see, you would see doing good basketball team. Uh, I go to school here, so. At UNT, we were doing really good this year, but we're still behind, I believe. We're like half a game behind somebody um, in conference. I want to say it was Old Dominion or somebody. I don't know. I don't really keep up with conference standings all that much, um, to be honest. But we did what we did yesterday against Middle Tennessee, and we beat them pretty happily. Ended up watching the game from behind the band. It was great. Man, it was a great experience. I was literally the only one behind the band. I was in my SI for the game. Oh, God. It was still a good game. Pretty sure it ended up spending like too much, not too much money yesterday. But anyway, um, I don't really have much to say else here. Um, I'm going to get on off of here. And, um, I'll probably, you know, do something about the Royal Rumble tonight. The Royal Rumble is going to be coming up at like six o'clock, I want to say, tonight. And if that happens, I'll be sure to break it down because this is the first WWE event that I'll be watching this year. Um, it'll probably be, it'll probably only be the Big Four that I'm gonna watch this year. Um, I'm still kind of mad from last year when they did the whole. Saudi Arabia thing, and Saudi Arabia is not really, um, a place to be going, you know, you know, for something that it likes to preach, you know, the diversity and every, and everyone being together and all that stuff like that, you know, not a good look for WWE, I'm still mad at last year, I'm just, I'm just mad in general about last year for WWE, but that's, that's not the purpose of this talk. That's not the purpose. Um, so anyway, big boy variety out. See you guys next time. And um, yeah, just let me know down in the comments section below or whatever um, teams that you'd like me to focus on. You know, I'm be trying to keep up, trying to get read into things, but it's just it just hasn't worked out like I wanted it to. So with that being said. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.